Well, good evening. Once again, thank you for joining us on this Friday. An Erie County prosecutor using the word horrifying to describe the murder of a young Buffalo mother. Yeah, the man accused of Kiera Hudson's murder being held tonight behind bars without bail. But this case has lawmakers and Hudson's family asking what more could have been done to prevent her death. Adam Benefield in state Supreme Court late this morning, a grand jury handing down an indictment with multiple charges inside, including second degree murder. Investigators say Benefield shot Hudson on October 5th while she was in her car with her three children. 24 hours before her death, Benefield was charged and released by Cheektowaga police accused of assaulting Hudson. In Hudson's family, the first to bring those domestic violence charges to our attention, the DA's office and the judge's clerk telling us that the original charges didn't qualify for bail in New York State, and that's why he was released the day before Kiara Hudson was killed. I was in court today when Benefield was arraigned. The state of New York versus Adam Benefield. The man accused of killing his wife earlier this month was arraigned Friday morning. 45 year old Adam Benefield is charged with killing Kiara Hudson in front of her three children. Mr. Benefield has been indicted by a grand jury of Erie County. Benefield faces one count of murder in the second degree, three counts of endangering the welfare of a child, and one count of aggravated criminal contempt for allegedly violating an order of protection. People's position. Uh, Your Honor, as I'm sure everyone's aware, uh, the allegations contained in this indictment are horrifying. They are the stuff of nightmares. Benefield pleading not guilty before State Supreme Court Justice William Bowler, who ordered him to be held without bail. He was remanded, uh, continued to be remanded. He uh, faces, obviously, 25 years of life in prison if he is convicted. This case shining a spotlight on bail reform because Benefield is accused of killing Hudson one day after he was arrested and released in connection to an alleged domestic violence incident. The charges uh, were, were correctly uh, uh, charged uh, and uh, the judge, again, had no choice but to release this person. District Attorney John Flynn renewing his call to review recent bail reform laws. The specific solution uh, is that we give judges the ability to factor in dangerousness when they are assessing bail. And cert one simple sentence. Governor Kathy Hochul fielding questions Friday about bail reform and this case. We did make targeted changes to the bail laws. I think that is absolutely overlooked in this heightened political atmosphere. Where everything's supercharged. I don't think that's the answer. The answer is to make sure that a woman like that, that poor woman, uh, has the support system she needs, has the ability to get an order of protection. When I spoke with Kiara Hudson's family the day she was killed, they told me not only did she have an order of protection, but she was also wearing a bulletproof vest. Because, Mom, he's going to kill me. You don't understand. He smashed into the front of her car in front of a school bus and got out the car with a shotgun and shot her and pulled off. Not only was there an order protection issued, a safety plan was issued as well to um, have her move out of the home and into her mom's house. But obviously the safety plan didn't work either. Now three children are without their mother. The district attorney says that Kiara Hudson's three children are doing well considering and they're staying with family. Benefield is scheduled to be back in court November 2nd.